Hey, how the hell are you guys doing out Yoo-hoo. there? You who? We're uh, we have fucking four you dudes right now. We're, I'm 26 years old. I just turned 26, and I'm drinking a fucking you who. Because you know what? Life's too damn fucking short, man. <coughs> Life's too short to not be drinking a fucking you who. It's so good. Like, why would you? And not? you're drinking Modelo. And I'm drinking Modelo. <laughs> I'm drinking you who and Modelo. That can't be I'm good. Double fist in it. That can't be good. I mean, I want to wonder, like, how bad Yoohoo actually is. Is this even you. milk? It's not, because you don't have to refrigerate <laughs> it, so I don't think it's milk. Well, there is milk that you don't have to refrigerate, like those Horizon milks. That's milk. There's protein in here. Okay, here we go. Ingredients. Water. High fructose corn syrup. Whey from milk. Uh, so it's... it's it contains milk. less than 2% of cocoa. This hey. is basically chocolate water. Yeah. With... With Corn syrup and chemicals. <laughs> With chemicals in it. Dude. It's chemical chocolate water. <laughs> there are a lot of chemicals in this shit. I don't even know what a lot of this is. But it's rich in calcium and vitamin D, though. What's guar gum? Guar gum. G-U-A-R gum. Guar gum. Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Looking, Velvet, where are you at? Yeah, we need Dr. Velvet. <laughs> With his butt naked ass. <laughs> yeah, in case anybody doesn't know, uh, <laughs> Dr. Velvet's always naked. He's our producer. For some weird reason. Guar gum... Also qual- called guaran, 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 is a uh, galactomenan polysaturide. We can't even pronounce what I'm the doing fuck. my best. We're trying like, to define it. We can't even pronounce I'm doing the definition. My best it, it's extracted <laughs> from guar beans that has thickening and stabilizing properties useful in food, feed, and industrial applications. Like what? Yoo-hoo. I mean, no, like what It properties? thickens the yoo What? I mean, it just thickens I just it? said, That's bitch, it? thickening and stabilizing properties. Those properties. Oh, that's weird. I'm drinking. So basically, it just, it just makes, it, makes it thick. You know what? I killed one of these little yoo boxes in 30 seconds. Not even. Like, 10 oh, seconds. I bet you could beat that record. You think? Yeah, you let, me get, mother- let me get this motherfucker. Let me get the motherfucking stopwatch. Dude. All right. It's this is stopwatch. R- this is riveting for a listener <laughs> right now. I bet. I bet they're a little. They're like, this. what the fuck am I listening to right uh, now? These- get your little bendy straw. These- penetrate the carton. Oh, I'm gonna penetrate it. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, oh it's so tight. Oh, oh my god. There it is. Oh, it's in. Fuck. Okay. It's in. Can you Ready? feel it? Set. No, I say go, motherfucker. Okay, I'm the one with the clock. Let's go. Put it in your mouth first, so you don't waste even a millisecond. I'm gonna put it in my mouth. Yeah, ready? <laughs> okay. On your mark. Get set. Go. Oh my god. This boy can suck. Oh! That was 11. 11 seconds. Well, that's 11.87, but I stopped it a little late because I was uh, marveling at What's your that? ability to suck. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. I'd say 11.5, I got you clocked. 11.5. 11, 11, 11.5 seconds. It's pretty good. Let me see if I can beat you. I mean, how many ounces is this? It's not a lot. Six, six, six and a half. Six and a half fluid 192 ounces. milliliters for you fucking Europeans. Right. Ready? No, I'm not ready. This is not a full one. Oh, We're going right, to have to come yeah. back to okay. it. Okay. Yeah, we'll come, we'll come back to the Yoo-Hoo I'm going to sip on this because I just had... Because I'm a classy bitch. <laughs> no, yes, I am definitely a classy bitch, but I went to uh, this restaurant called the Chubby Cattle tonight on Broadway, and it was all you can eat for 50 bucks. Is it a steak, please? It sounds like steak. Uh, they have Wagyu beef, and I ate What the hell is Wagyu? Lot. It's the Cadillac of beef, boy. But like when like if you were to defi- like if okay it comes from Janap I know steak hamburger it is steak it's a steak. Uh, so it's well like a, it's like a so type of steak let me give you a legit definition wagyu sounds like Italian hold up wait a minute like it would be like beef rally beef rally wagyu like is beef. any of the four Japanese breeds of beef cattle in oh, several so areas Japanese. of Japan wagyu beef is shipped carrying area names some examples are. Matsusaka beef, Kobe beef, Yonezawa beef, and Mishima beef, Omi beef, and Sanda beef. Sanda. I have more questions than I have, have no idea what kind I had tonight. They just said it's Wagyu, but it was gorgeous. And oh, if you'd yeah. like to check out my Instagram and see pictures, also underscore Jordan. Fuck Can yeah. Can you follow? Yeah. Uh, anyway, 
I'm so fucking full. I don't know if I should be chugging Yuhu because I gorged my motherfucking self on I steak just went and to sushi. Red Robin. What'd you get? Mm, uh, I got a re- you yum. know what though? So I got so I figured out tonight, I think I figured out that I'm not a burger person. I don't you call know, yourself an American. I fucking You live, call yourself I, a fucking American. I live my entire life you know, only eating cheeseburgers wherever I go. And the last time at, at that Johnny Rockets place, I only took one bite and just something turned me off on it. I don't know what it was. It was just the, the It was the, the Mexican bacon. The smell and the taste just it turned me off. The turned illegal me off. Mexican bacon. And then tonight I got a red ro- or a royal burger or whatever with the egg on it and mm-hmm. normally I would eat that shit. But I took like a couple bites and I was just like, ugh, like this is not good. You know, if you like, if you're asking me, buddy, last few times I've been to Red Robin, it was fucking dog shit. So you think it's just probably just like it's a, is it a, is it a coincidence that I've had like the past couple burgers I've had were kind of like ugh, or is it me? Is it the burger mm, or is it me? I don't know. Maybe it's you. I think it's maybe me. it's you because like I just doesn't taste. Good. Who doesn't like a burger? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, and I I loved burgers up until, like, the jar- what changed? Did you get sick? Did you get the vid and it no, changed your no, taste no. buds? No, no, no. I it was the the first time. Well, actually, a couple weeks prior to Johnny Rockets, I was um, I was already kind of feeling like I just didn't. I don't know. We would go out to eat, and I'd get a burger, and like. And I just found myself like only taking a couple bites of it, and then mm-hmm. I would be like, "Oh, I'm just gonna take it home because I'm not that hungry." And then you throw it away, and I just never eat it, yeah. you know. And so it started like that, and I think, like now, just today, kind of just confirmed it because I was just like, I took one bite or cut two bites of it. I tried, I for tried to force myself, and that's where I'm like, I shouldn't have to force myself to eat. What a- are you hungry for? I don't know. I don't know. Probably, you pro- need I could experiment. probably, I could probably eat chicken tenders just fine. You know what I mean? Like, just fine. It's like all so, the time, though? Sure. Bro, what are Maybe you, not all, No, not all the time, but, like, something small like that. I just don't, like, like, I don't know. I can't eat a big, greasy burger anymore. Like, mm. it's just, like, my taste buds don't fucking like it. And I just, like, I, I feel like I'm already full when I take one bite. I'm like, ugh. Like, I just want, it makes Jeez. me want to throw up. So... Might be related. What kind of tampons are you using? <laughs> uh, what I was gonna say, badges. So I don't think that's that's not. No, tampons. it sounds like you might need some of that too, though. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, I don't know man. Shit. I don't know. <clears throat> super weird, though. I don't know. Like I, food, uh, food allergies are super weird in general. You know, Ryan grew up eating bananas all the motherfucking time, and then all of a sudden he ate a banana and his throat closed, and now he can't eat bananas because so he's fucking all weird. of a sudden allergic to bananas. It's so weird how a whole a person can grow up their whole life living a certain way, Why eat, is eating, that? eating a certain type of food, That's the, and then one day they fucking eat that type of food and it just like, fuck, don't drive with them, you know, well, for whatever reason. It's super gonna, weird. Developing... Ooh. My buddy Josh is—he's uh, allergic to bananas as well, like deathly allergic. Like he'll fuck he'll th- his throat will swell up and he'll die, basically mm. type of situation. All right, so here's a little here's a little insight here. <clears throat> uh, can you suddenly develop a food allergy? We know that we can. Oop, got an alarm going on. Very unprofessional. <laughs> well, very unprofessional. Yeah. Yep. Most food allergies start in childhood, as we know, but they can develop at any time in life. It is not clear why, but some adults develop an allergy to a food they typically eat with no problem. Some children can even outgrow food allergies. That's so weird. So do you think it's more like a, uh, like your body can naturally adapt to these things? And if, and I, cause if you think about it, if you shelter a kid away from like bacteria their whole life, so say like, you know, like the bubble boy or whatever that, what that movie was that came out, yeah. uh, Jill and Hurley. Yeah. 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 Um, Poo Nanny. but that's kind of real shit though, because if you fucking, if you're, if you spend your entire life like sanitized and then you, and then you go into the real you're world, fucked. yeah, you're fucked because your fucked. immune system is just going to be like, what the fuck? You know, white blood cells will kill themselves. What are you doing to me, dude? Know to do. You know, I don't know, bro. Human bodies are stupid. Yeah, it's super weird though. The allergies kind of work on that same level, I think. Like, you know what I mean? It's because because it, you can get over it. I like, guess, it's not like, but some you don't like peanut allergies. Uh, 
your little cousin. He stayed the night at my house with Judah that one time to have a sleepover. And he's severely allergic to peanut butter. And Judah wanted a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I didn't even think about it. I made him a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and he's eating it. And he was like, can I have one? And Lacey looked at me, and she's like, no, no, no. So I was like, sorry, buddy, you you can't have peanut butter. And he goes, well, can I just have a jelly sandwich? And I couldn't get, even give him the jelly because I always do the peanut butter first. So I put the knife in the peanut butter, spread it on my bread, then I put the peanut buttery knife in the jelly. So oh, it has yeah. it has little residue of peanut butter. Yeah. So I was like, nope, you cannot have a jelly sandwich, uh, little boy. That sucks. Yeah. What, what are you gonna What are you gonna use two two butter knives? What kind of psychopath uses two right. two butter knives? I've talked to people about this before, and uh, most people that I talk to do jelly first. Why? I don't know. Do you do peanut butter first? Yeah, but then you get your jelly and the peanut butter. That's what I'm saying. If your peanut butter is in the jelly, that's fine because it's going in the refrigerator. And and it's fine because peanut butter is great all the time. Yeah. But sometimes I don't want jelly. Yeah, exactly. Maybe I just want a peanut butter. And if you sandwich. have and if you have if you're putting jelly on something totally unrelated, at least the peanut butter will kind of like an English muffin. Yeah. A, to- a little bit of peanut butter, not a fucking problem. Mm. But if you're making like a peanut butter something that does not require jelly. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Then it fucks up the equation. I'm a peanut butter, banana, honey guy. Ooh. That's peanut, the one. Peanut butter and honey? Add banana in that piece. And then fry that it was, in uh, a frying pan. Wasn't that, that was Elvis's. No, his had bacon. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah motherfucker. No, no. It was a tortilla with... Ugh. with. Uh, no, he did not. I swear it was You're a, lying. I swear it was a tortilla, or maybe not a tortilla. Maybe it was just like bread with peanut butter and bananas. I was just getting on you for being unprofessional. Sorry, everybody. I don't think you, anybody is offended. Also, just because <coughs> it's just me, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, all four of you that are listening to us right now. We kind of just do this for fun. Yeah. We're not in it for the money. I mean, I don't think, yeah, I don't, I, I mean, I, yeah, I don't think anybody wants to pay us. <laughs> you never anybody, know. Nobody's knocking at our fucking door. You never know. But I mean, it's, maybe we gotta knock on their door. I think it's just nice to just to just to get shit out. You know what I mean? I think it's cool to document stuff. Document stuff. Document mm-hmm. conversations, and just fucking. I don't know. It's, it's cool. just it's for cool. fun, you yeah, guys. It's, it's and cool. if you're listening, thank you. Yeah. Sorry if we're you. boring. Thank, thank <laughs> you for listening to our. We podcast. also just did a couple days. We're not too grateful though. <laughs> nah, <laughs> we did do a couple of dabs though, so I'm a little uh, did a couple uh, diddlies. I'm a little high, and I got the yoo-hoo in me. So, for anybody who's listening, we uh, we're drinking yoo-hoo because uh, your boy was in at Walmart, and I was walking past the yoo-hoo. Yoo-hoo's our new sponsor. For some reason, I just fuck. It sounded good. If yoo-hoo decided to sponsor us, I would not. Fucking pass that up. Even if anybody decided to sponsor I'd be, us. I'd be, yeah, okay, well, yeah, sure. If anybody was, but, I mean, unless it was, like, for, like, something fucking weird. Like, I don't know. Like, what's, what's one, like, what's, like, a sponsor that you would turn down? Uh, like a dildo manufacturer? I'd probably turn that down. But even then... That's pretty fucking funny. You're just are they going to give me here. free dildos? What am I going to do with that? No, but you just sit here, Sell and talk, you sit here and talk about dildos, and then they just like, I don't know if they give you money. I don't They'd know. They'd probably give you just dildos, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you like, keep but send, don't y'all make fleshlights? You keep sending them back like, I don't, I don't need any fucking dildos. <laughs> <laughs> you just like, put them in a box and put them on the street. <laughs> Someone will take them. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> That's fucking gross. <laughs> so you, there you I go. Mean, but somebody, I'm sure there would be, though. There's probably a motherfucker that would get turned on by some shit like that. That's like, weird. Ooh, a random people are dirty fu- dildo. I'm going to put it in me. Fucking freaks. Yeah. And you know, nothing surprises me. You scroll through, you get to page 97 on Pornhub. And I'm not like... There's some I'm weird not, shit, dude. I, that's the thing is like, I feel like most people have... How do we like, always end up on the porn topic? I don't know, but it's interesting. Yeah, it is. But a, it's I an interesting like, thing. I feel like most people have like a... Like a fetish or like something that like I love I don't knees. Know, something weird. Something weird. I love or, knees. Something weird. You like what? Knees. Knees. Oh. Oh, what? Like the like, back of a knee. Like like a person's knee. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like they're like right above the shin. The knee. 
Like the, the cap. You like what? Like what about the knee? Just looking. Well, at it's the not knee? just knees. Elbows. <laughs> what about knees and elbows? It's like joints. You just like looking at them. Ankles. Or do you like when there's like wrists? No, I don't fuck them. I don't fu- <laughs> no, I don't fuck the joints. I don't fuck the joints. I just I look fuck, at them. I don't fuck the joints. <laughs> I just look at them and harden right up, buddy. That's just, weird. That's really? True. No. I'm okay. just saying words. Okay. I'm just saying words. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what really turns me on. <laughs> but a gross knee? You ever seen a gross knee, though? There are gross oh, knees. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. My, I think I have gross knees. I, it's not, yeah. They're not gross, but they're, I don't, I just think all knees look weird. Knees if you really, me. if you look, stop and look at them, they're really weird. I just think I kind of have like a PTSD sort of thing with knees because my mom has had a gang of knee surgeries and I watched her go through that a lot when I was a little boy. Mm-hmm. Ryan had his gnarly knee injury and his crazy surgery that he had to have when we were so you're little. you're just like obsessed with knees? Knees are scary, kind of. Like yeah. fucking up your knee is a scary thing for me. Yeah, I mean, no, no, not really, <laughs> no, not really. Like, he, I don't know. Knee injuries are gnarly, dude. Like the way my mom's is, her bones, she doesn't have any cartilage, so they're just like bone on bone resting on each other. So while she's stepping, it's like crook, 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 oh. grinding on it. Oh. I feel horrible for anybody who's listening who has back problems, knee problems, mm-hmm. or any kind of joint issues. I don't have any of that shit, but I can only imagine how fucking hard that would be just to just to live life because you're in constant fucking pain. A lot know? of them get addicted to drugs. Oh yeah, sure. And stuff. Oh sure. Yeah, yeah. Probably get doing oxycontin and. Yeah, I mean, you I have in, to. You fucking have to though. Kind of. I got approached by at least three suspected dope heads today when I was in Denver, standing outside that restaurant. Three dope heads? Yeah, they just walk like up meth, to me. Like meth or heroin? Like some heroin looking dudes. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Dope, dope is dope, but. It was cool. I gave them all cigarettes. Oh, yeah. Like all of them. Oh, yeah. I struck up a conversation with like so many strangers today. I don't know. It was really cool. Like, if you ever just get a chance to just like kind of sit. Dude, I always talk to just, a stranger. Just like sit at the mall. I, so I was waiting for my girlfriend to get out. But of you me. can only do that within a certain age range, right? Not I think really. if you're. Oh, yeah, bro. I think for a guy, I was thinking about it because I, I, I remember working at uh, the grocery store and, and when I would go out um, for a smoke break and stuff, there's always like this old guy out there smoking a cigarette, waiting for his wife. And he'd sit there and talk to you and talk, just talk yeah, to you. Yeah, but everyone. you're like an employee, right? But. You know that there are a lot of people out there that are getting creeped out by this fucking guy talking to everybody. I don't know. It was more like, yeah, that's probably true. Remember that one at uh, at the Kings on 136 in Colorado? John. Yeah. He used to come in and spend his whole morning there. And he wasn't like a particularly nice man. Right. He would just complain and bitch and try to get people in trouble all the time. And he was creepy. Like he would constantly be looking at Girls' asses and shit. Yeah, this that's, store that's is like next to a high school, by the way. So there's like high school girls coming in, and he's like checking them out and being a creep. And that's weird. Ratting on people for getting high and shit. Fuck John. Yeah, fuck John. Once on, there's a Wendy's in there. I went on my lunch break, and he was in there berating those employees too. I thought I saw someone walking in. We did. This house is haunted. Oh yeah, I truly think this house is fucking hot. There's a I keep, I keep, in here. I keep seeing like something out of the corner of my eye. Do you see that too, or is that just me? I think it's probably the light. Pro- oh yeah, 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 the moving light. That's probably. Well, maybe not because it's not even going over. We're there. all freaking ourselves out. <laughs> I Chris, mean, it is what it is. Chris also ate half of a pretty potent weed cookie, so he's gonna be a little sleepy, dang. Yeah, sleepy, sleepy. And uh, he's also supposed to drive me home, so yeah. we'll see. I mean, I'm a pretty good driver, man. <laughs> I would like to think so. Especially, um, well, I, I, you know. I, I think I it would know. might be safer for me to ride on the roof. So that way if something happens, <laughs> I can just jump off and get away from the vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> you might do that. You're just like holding on there. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wind. Just white knuckling. It's like 20 rain. degrees outside. <laughs> Wind I, and rain. Dude, I literally don't have even a coat. Really? I have like Why do you a, bring a coat? I have a light jacket. 
Hashtag I Christians didn't... who vape. Sea biscuit. Sea biscuit. We keep Seabiscuit. coming up with alter egos. So you know, rap names, right? The world is fucking full of them. Um, I made a little rap song, and I'm like sitting there thinking, I'm like, what's my rap name gonna be? We came up with a couple different ideas. For a long time growing up, I made a joke with my dad. My dad was like, because I told my dad I wanted to rap, and he was like, what's your rap name going to be? And I'm like, Sea Dog. So growing up, that's like the joke. It's like my rap name is Sea Dog. But now I'm like, as an adult, I'm like, you know what, though? Low key, that's kind of fucking cool. Like I like Sea Biscuit best. Sea Biscuit's cool, too. Sea Biscuit. Because then you're like a noble steed. (laughs) <laughs> a noble steed <laughs> what the hell is a steed it's a horse bro is that what is that yeah what? you never heard of a horseback messenger fetching you from your estate no dude i live in on two, his th- steed? I, li- I lived in the 2000s i have no idea what any of this no. <laughs> i've always wanted to like have a horseback messenger horseback that i can send <laughs> Instead of texting people or calling them, just send a horseback messenger to your dude, house. Dude, that would be rad. I'm right. not gonna lie. If I would I, hire a if guy I got, to do that. If, if I, I got a money. message from a fucking messenger yeah. on a horseback, horse. I would have in a beautiful s- uniform. Mad respect for that. Person. And he'd be in like a like a 15th century like <laughs> clothing. Dude. Oh hell yeah, that would be awesome. I'd be like, can can you take me with you to your land of <laughs> wherever this is? I want to fucking live there. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> how do people, how do smoke signals work? Speaking of like odd forms of communication, do you like, I, I don't understand. Okay, he's, he's, you, know, you don't understand <laughs> what? Smoke signals and how you read that shit. I think a smoke signal is just basically like a location. Beacon? It doesn't. It does it's not. You're not like making signals. I don't think with it. No, it's, I'm pretty sure you can communicate somehow. I don't somewhere. think you actually make signals with it. I think it's just more you like you don't a, know shit about I think, smoke signals. I think, I think you lighting off the smoke is a signal. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> dude, it says, I don't think you make dude, signals. This just you're says, like L. You're like H. This, e. Dude, I just typed in smoke signals. And it came up, smoke signals, how to be an Indian. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> the smoke signal Look is one of the oldest it. forms of long-distance communication. No, in general, they are used to uh, transmit news, signal danger, or to gather people to a common area. So how do you fucking convey news with smoke Motherfuckers are in... Are they spelling it out? That's what I'm saying. Like, you making letters somehow? <laughs> How are you doing that? How you do that? Magic? <laughs> I guess it started in China. Fuck. Everything starts in China. Dude, the Chinese fucking up Earth, bro. Everything starts in China. Chinese are fucking everything up. Yes, well. I don't really want to talk about the Chinese. <laughs> I love Asians, but the Chinese government is... Uh, Shit up. For anybody who's listening, we also have cookies here that I, my girlfriend bought from Eileen. Is it Eileen? That's Eileen's colossal Eileen's cookies. Colossal cookies. They're pretty. I actually have Greeley, Colorado. I can't say that they're good because I haven't had one yet. But they they look good. You know, they look really soft and chewy. We're trying to get sponsorships from anybody. You who, Eileen. (laughs) Eileen, if you're listening. (laughs) Eileen. I'm going to call the number and say, hey, check out our podcast. You do it. Eileen'sCookies.com, everybody. Mm. Everybody go. Eileen. say, this is just a standard chocolate chip. Mm. God damn, Eileen. That's a chocolate chip? Mm. Eileen? No. Mm -mm. Come on, Eileen. I don't think these are just, these are like super chunk cookies. Because sure. we had a normal, there there was, we, there had an option as the one that I was going to bring over. And it was like a normal chocolate chip, a uh, sugar cookie, and then there was like these chocolate chips. So, so I think these ones are like thicker, like like a double chunk kind of mm. deal. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fucking good, man. It's pretty good. Eileen, you got it going on. I don't know what you do or who you are or where What's you're at. What's the but... lyrics after Come On Eileen? Oh, come on, Eileen. Oh, 
all over the sheets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm a winner. <laughs> I'll tell everyone. I don't know if that's correct. Because oh. I don't know the lyrics <laughs> of that song. We can make up our own lyrics. Fuck it. <laughs> that's true. We could weird out that shit. Hell yeah. Dude, I've always wanted to make a, a Weird Al fucking... You can. Uh, but I can't, though. Yes, you can. I can. You gotta though. just go under a different alias. I just... I don't know, man. You know, I felt like I spent my whole life, like, trying to be, like, fucking this, like, folky music. And I am. I write folk music. But I also can rap, too. You can. You know what I mean? But Chris was, was freestyling last night off the dome. Just He just put on some beats on YouTube and I didn't know he could do that. I did, really, I don't know that I didn't know that I could do that either. I just kind of like literally, I'd fucking, I don't know. I And when I'd, I recorded that rap song and I was just like, I didn't know that could come out of me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. Because anybody that knows me, obviously, is just like. That's not what you not do. Who, you don't I even do. listen to hip hop. Oh, I don't. I, no, no, no. I listen to 60s music. I'm kind of a hippie, if you will. Um. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't. I don't even like really like. I don't know. I don't even like metal all that much. Like I like metal, but like very specific metal. I like rap, but very specific rap. I like jazz, but very specific jazz. Like he's a snob, in other words. But if you're talking classical music, or not classical, but classic rock, um, I'm okay with most things. Fucking hate poison. I hate Kiss. Um, What's wrong with old Gene Simmons? It's not him as a person. I really liked his his TV show. I thought I thought he was a really cool person. Fucking a Eileen, dude! Uh, right? Yeah. Eileen's got it's it going cookie. on, dude. It's a good cookie. Shit, man! She can come fucking make cookies in my house. I'm gonna wash it down with this uh, corn syrup water. Oh, I <laughs> drank all the corn syrup water. <laughs> Here. Oh, no, that's empty. Here. Oh. You want I'm good. I'm going to get a beer, I think, in a minute. All right. We're back from a long fucking break. A little hiatus. A little hiatus there. Uh, we were, did some international travel. Yeah, we, we went to Mexico. We wore no masks. Um, and when I came back, I tongue kissed like 10 people. <laughs> <laughs> Straight in the mouth. That's what they get. Yep. That's what they get. But no, we did go to Mexico. That was a lot of fun. And we did get COVID tested before re entering the country. So, uh, yeah, it, suck it if you're mad at me. Yeah, okay. well, it wasn't bad. It, uh... Hey! hey. <laughs> we have a guest under the house far away. She's not going to be on, on the, on the, uh, on the, She's not gonna be on it. She's not gonna be on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know, Mexico wasn't bad. Uh, man, it was fucking legitimate paradise. I think the only thing you know that might have made it a little better was a little touch of Colorado. If you know what I'm talking about. Those who don't, sorry, but but you know, but you know what I'm you talking know. about. Those who you know, 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 you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're late sitting on the beach, fucking. Laying in a hammock, uh, pool. There was a. I love the sheer amount of alcohol you can consume oh, yeah. at sea level oh, without yeah. actually feeling drunk. I drank all fucking day from morning till I passed the fuck out. And at, like, there midnight. was only one night where like I was pretty fucked up, but I wasn't like Sorry. physically fucked up. I was like mentally fucked up. I was like technically How do you mean mentally fucked up. I mean like technically speaking, I'm drunk. Because I've been drinking all day, <laughs> but like I, I didn't but feel, not. but I didn't feel like how I would feel at Colorado in Colorado. Yeah, that mile high, baby. Um, you know, like you drink a cup of, you know, if you drink, if you get drunk in Colorado, you're like you could, you know, you're falling it's down it's and kind of terrible. <clears throat> Lose your balance. You like and getting, shit. Uh, like getting drunk in the mountains while you're camping. Oh yeah, awful. Really? I don't really enjoy it. I love it. I'd rather just get high. Really. Rocky Mountain High. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a spokesperson in the house. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, but yeah, no, I mean, honestly, I think, you know, once everybody smartens up and, you know, it's, it's legal everywhere, then, you know, it'll, things will change. And I think that honestly, that wouldn't, for me personally, I think that would make it absolute paradise. Mm-hmm. Um, but, oh, but, uh, but smoking you know, a bleezy on the beezy. Yeah. And, and you know, I, I had, on the I had a guy try to sell it to me while we were there. Um, it's a trap, which then they tell you it's a trap. What they do is they, these dudes will hang it on the, hang out on the beach and they'll try to sell you jewelry. And if you don't buy their jewelry, they say, you know, like try to, the guy try was to, trying to sell me cigars. That's all I know. Uh, yeah. A guy was selling cigars too. Um, the guy who asked me, I think was selling cigars and I said no. And he said, was level like, well, ganja. And I'm like, no, <laughs> you know, I'm good. You know? The thing is, the scam is what they do is they sell you that shit, and uh-huh. then they go tell the hotel where you at. Yep, exactly. And, and then, then they the, call and the police. The, the police come, and you're in Mexican jail. Which sounds honestly kind of fun. <laughs> get a, I don't think get a couple tattoos. Bad. Yeah, you get a lot of really good free MS-13 tattoos. <laughs> get your eyelids tattooed and shit. Oh, shit. Get a, I saw, get, a, get a new nickname like I Spider. saw a guy walking down the street with some MS-13 tattoos the other day in Thornton. He had his eyelids tattooed and his whole fucking forehead and his oh cheeks. God. He was tatted. He's mm-hmm. just walking down the street. It was like, uh, do you know the Instagram page, Foo's Gone Wild? Foo's Gone Wild? Foo's Gone Wild. <laughs> no. It's the funniest shit. Dude. Is it just like what it, it sounds like? It's pretty much what it sounds <laughs> like. It's a, yeah. Let me, uh, dude, they have like a uh, a segment, if you will, and it's like, where is this Foo going? And it's like videos of just Foo's walking down the street with tall socks and like dicky shorts and shit. That's funny. Oh, man. Some of these Foo's are crazy. <laughs> the music. <laughs> That's funny. Dude, I love the vatos, dude. They're so funny. Oh, a snap. This is why we need video. I shouldn't even be showing pictures to you because nobody can see except yeah, for me. For anybody who's watching, it's a it's a it's a video of a guy riding a bike and in uh Pretty Vato clothing. Basically, just go to Foo's Gone, at Foo's Gone Wild on Instagram and have yourself some laughs. It's very funny. <laughs> I'm going to put my phone down now. Oh. 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 Dude, <laughs> speaking of tattoos and Hispanic gentlemen, when we were in Mexico, remember our waiter was showing me his tattoos? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he saw yeah, mine, yeah. and he was like, oh, you like to get tattooed, huh? I was like, yeah, I do. And you couldn't see any of his tattoos because of what he was wearing, but he, like, unbuttoned his shirt and was showing me his chest piece and his arms and stuff, and arguably better work than what I got, and for a fraction of the price. He oh, yeah. said in total he paid $650 for all of those tattoos, and they were beautiful. Holy shit. Beautiful tattoos. Wow. Six hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. So yeah. I will go to a Mexican prison to get some tattoos. Is what I'm trying to <laughs> I say. I don't think you need to go to, <coughs> to go to prison. Well that way they're free. <laughs> but you gotta do some gang shit. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely gotta you gotta um What would put, you do? If you were in a Mexican prison and they approached you to do some gang shit, but you'd be safe if you did the gang shit. What kind of gang shit? Like shanking a motherfucker. Like killing somebody? Yes. No. Like stabbing a guy out. No. And if you don't do it, they're going to stab you. All right. You can stab me. That's fine. You're going to let them stab you and die? I'm Gandhi, bitch. <laughs> You're gone. <laughs> gone. You're gone. You're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it. no, I wouldn't kill somebody. I was just asking my girlfriend that, and I was like, okay, what if you, okay, if somebody asked you, would you rather kill one person to save a thousand or kill a thousand to save one person. Depends. Kill a thousand people to save like my children. I kill a million. What if it's like, what if in order to kill this one person, 
that is like Hitler status. Got to kill a thousand people. You had to kill a thousand people. Mm. Or would you rather kill? Mm-hmm. That's a good question. This one person and save a thousand people. Well, by killing Hitler, you're saving six million people. So I'd kill the thousand to save the six million. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's a di- yeah, that's a good way to look at it too. But Boom! Like- I'm fucking so smart. <laughs> I'm so smart. I blow my own mind every day. You blow it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My mind is blow. I give my brain brain, and that's what I'm saying. Dang, 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 brain, brain. Okay. I'm the thing, thing. <laughs> Chris what? is a Chris <clears throat> has a newly found passion for rap. Yeah, I think I'm going to be a rapper. I think I'll be a SoundCloud rapper. After years of folk music and acoustic guitars. Yeah, all my years of training and experience. He's hanging t- it up for the drum pad and the MIDI rapper. controller. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> all my training and experience has led me to this point. But you know what? <laughs> you look at a dude like Post Malone. And I mean, yeah. No, seriously, yeah. He, he jumps around. He <clears throat> does all sorts of different stuff. I saw him doing a country thing. Yeah. That's his. That's what he likes. The motherfucker lives in Utah on like a ranch. Yeah, that's weird. I don't think Man, I he's from live Texas. In, I don't think I could live in Utah. It's a dry state. Oh, what a terrible state! Dry Can you state. imagine being surrounded by such religious fanatics everywhere you go? Yeah, fuck that. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. I'm good. Where it like really affects the legislation of the state and shit. Yeah, fuck that. I don't think so. Do you have, <laughs> do you have time to talk about our our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? You know what? I do. <laughs> I do. Let's Dude. talk about it. <clears throat> Dude. One time I used to have a shirt that said in big old English letters on the front, God free. And it had an upside down cross on it. And I was wearing it while doing yard work at my dad's house in the front yard. And I was bent over picking up sticks. And two of those motherfuckers came up behind me and they were like, excuse me, sir. You got a moment? And I turned around and they saw my shirt and they were like, Never mind. <laughs> and they kept walking. <laughs> it was so funny. My dad, one time, I guess when we were younger, uh, they came to the door, and I guess he took his shirt off, took his pants off, lit a cigarette, and cracked a beer. Come on in. And he opened the door <laughs> with a lit cigarette and cracked his beer, you know? And they like, he opened the door, and they're like, they just turned around <laughs> and didn't oh even say God. anything. Turned around and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you'd, I don't think he would do that these days. I but bet I can, he would. I, can I bet he fucking would. When he would do that. Maybe not now. No, he probably now he'd probably be. He has too much, yeah. too much going on. He's full dad mode. He's a full dad. Yeah, full grandpa. Full dad mode. Whereas I'm, I'm dad mode. I'm not. Full. But we're still. You're still young we're enough still to do young. some. You're still young still enough to do some shit. wacky shit. Still fuck with the public on a and regular basis. And it's not basis. like creepy. You know what I mean? <laughs> not yet. It's borderline. It's getting there. <laughs> it's wacky. But when you get wacky. older, when you get older, wacky turns into creepy. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> look at fucking David Lee Roth. I don't want to look at him. Dude, he's scary. Bro. I watched a, jo- a Joe Rogan podcast with David Lee Roth, and he's fucking, he's out there. He's losing it, dude. <laughs> like, I'm just like, it's hard to watch because he's back. If you watch like back in the day, he was just such a fucking party animal. He's like, hey, yeah, look, yeah, look, yeah, he's, I mean, he's consumed know. a lot of drugs, and he's still that way. Yikes. But without the hair, and he's all old. <laughs> Yikes. You know who else is crazy? How'd they mind? Ted Nugent. Oh, yeah. I don't oh, like Ted Nugent because he's crazy. He's person, super fucking, dude. like, uh, uh, shitty. Ego- ego- egotistical and shitty. arrogant. Shitty. Very egotistical. He thinks that, like, whatever, like, his way is the best way, which is, like, the clean, so. clean and sober way. You know, which I'm not saying to each his own. He doesn't seem like he's clean and sober. He seems like he's on some amphetamines. He seems hyped up. He doesn't take. He doesn't do anything. The motherfucker is at least drinking a twelve pack of Mountain Dew. He has some wine every now and then, and that's about it. He's drinking Mountain Dew. That's why he's getting so hyped up. Probably he might be all hyped up on that Mountain Dew. Dude, I heard a Mountain Dew commercial (laughs) on the radio the other day. That was talking. It was like some country guy. He was like. Man, the only thing you need when you are out on a Sunday afternoon with your rod and your reel is a cooler <laughs> full of Mountain Dew. Your rod and your reel. Dude, I swear to God. <laughs> he was like, 
Because your friends at Mountain Dew know that the only thing that makes a day out on your ATV better <laughs> is a cooler of Mountain Dew. Oh, they're marketing. Dude. They're, they're, mar- <laughs> they're marketing for sure. It's like, is that the target audience for Mountain Dew? I'm, I'm just sure like some is. country-ass motherfuckers uh, oh, fishing and riding ATVs. Apparent, apparently. That's Dude, so funny, though. I heard that, and I couldn't believe that that's what I was hearing. <laughs> you know, like Mountain Dew, you know, like on the Truman Show. Ever made. You know, like on the Truman Show when the radio is like directed at him. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like that. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, I'm hearing something. I'm like, that. you're like, am I the only one fucking hearing Dude, this? This shit is speaking to me right now. <laughs> Someone's fucking trying to communicate with me through rednecks and Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god! But I do fucking love Mountain Dew. <laughs> but I do love Fig Newtons. <laughs> mm, I do love Fig Newtons. Mm. Uh, when you go to Taco Bell, you were talking to me about Taco Bell off air. What drink do you get? And if it's not Baja Blast, then get the fuck out. I'm actually going to tell you something. I don't get any drink. What's I drink, the matter with you? I drink beer. What, a, what is that? What the hell is that? I don't know. I don't know if our listeners can pick that up. Okay, edit this out. (laughs) You can hear it with the headphones, but when you take the headphones off, it's gone. Is it you? No, I'm like, is it you? Anyway, fuck it. We'll just talk (laughs) over it. But uh, fuck okay, <coughs> fucking you just you don't get a soda? No. What about I, I, before you had access to beers? Uh before I had access to beer, yeah, sure, I get a Baja Blast. Always. The only other acceptable answer I would have you know is wild cherry Pepsi. And you know what though, I'm starting the older that I get. When I was younger I used to think that beer was the adult drink. And I'm starting to realize that it's actually not. It's actually like wa- water and soda. That's and tea and drink. tea. Yeah, it's coffee, black coffee, coffee, coffee is that's yeah. as adult as you can get is black coffee and a newspaper <laughs> and yeah. one fried egg and dry toast. Yep, that's that's adult. Yeah, ugh, it's no pretty good actually. Dry toast, oh, yeah, you're fucking maybe a little bit of butter on there, yeah. a little bit of can of butter. Your special butter. <laughs> this motherfucker got so high off toast the other day, he made some buttered toast with can of butter. And then woke up on another planet. Yeah, this random person that we're talking about is not us. <laughs> yeah, this, this motherfucker. Uh, this this motherfucker, motherfucker. This random guy that we know. <laughs> <clears throat> Happened to made a lot of can of butter and ate a lot and passed out. Off and toast. S- spilled beer on himself. Remember that cartoon, Ed, Ed and Nettie? That yeah. one stupid motherfucker that liked the buttered toast. Buttered toast. Yeah, that Ed. guy. Yeah. Was it Ed? It was Ed. Was it 1D? I think it was 1D, E-D. And yeah. then there was E-D-D, which was, with, which was the guy with the hat that you yeah, never see yeah, him take yeah. his hat off. Uh-huh. And then Eddie. I feel like that dude, the E-D-D one with the two Ds, E-D-D, E-D-D. I feel like he grew up to be a woman. <laughs> Why do you say that? It's just the way he looked in the show. He just you just think he has a woman womanly vibe about yeah. it? Yeah. No. Probably. Probably. You know, I, I saw this fandom thing where it was about um that show being actually if you really look at it, they're trailer park kids that were like on meth. And shit. <laughs> you think they were on meth? Well, definitely that jawbreaker. Maybe jawbreaker. that's what the jawbreakers were. Uh-huh. It's meth. Mm-hmm. Dang. Because they're clenching their teeth because they're so high and breaking their jaws. Yep. Wow. Jawbreakers. Damn, that's fucked up. This is fucked up. Huh? That's fucked up. Kind of ruined, you know you ruined your childhood a little bit. I remember the night that that cartoon premiered, and I remember it because I had had oral surgery that day. And my top lip was like hella swollen, and I wanted to laugh at the cartoon so bad, but it hurt every time I laughed. And <laughs> my dad brought me a happy meal that I couldn't chew. That's funny. And it sucked. That was a shitty night. <laughs> I remember being young, and when that first show, when that show first came out, um, 
I don't, maybe not. I don't know. If, I don't know. I remember the first time watching it. I don't know if the first time I watched it was when it first came out. But <clears throat> oh dang! What? Samson. Samsonite. You want to have a cigarette? Yeah. All right. We're gonna have a quick break, guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> 